Hello, Pace 111 class. It's Steve. I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to just give you a quick introduction to our week number seven. We are already entering week number seven. The session is flying by. And this week, as you can see, we're focusing on networking. This is probably one of my favorite aspects of the Pace 111 course because it's all about helping you get connected to professionals in your field, learning about how to connect with professionals in your field, and thinking about how to use things like informational interviewing and actual networking to kind of advance your professional career. So we're going to first start by talking briefly about some of the themes for this week. So the, there are four central themes for this week. You see them up here. Networking. What do we mean by networking? So networking, we mean making contact, communicating with everyone we know pretty much. So, so letting everyone we know keeping them informed that, hey, I'm interested in cybersecurity, or I'm, I'm a student at UMGC, I just started my, my computer programming degree or my IT degree. So why do we want to do this? Well, for one, we never know who might know of an opportunity out there to help us personally and professionally develop. So that could be a, a new career on the horizon. It could be an internship or it could be an informational interview like you see here. So that's going to be actually our assignment for this week that I'll get to in a bit. We also see there we have mentorship. So all of you have, I'm sure, had mentors in your life. I certainly have. And my mentors were guiders. They gave me advice. They provided encouragement. They provided support. They helped me when I felt knocked down, okay, helped me bounce back, helped me develop that grit and resilience. So this week, we're also going to explore ways to develop mentoring relationships with professionals in our field of study. And then the last one you see there is student and professional associations. I'm sorry, student and professional organizations. So we can't discount the benefit of professional organizations that are tied to your field of study. And when I say professional organizations, I mean not just UMGC, not just, say, the computer club at UMGC. We're talking about professional organizations that help you to develop your talents, develop your skill sets, further your knowledge in your field. And so that's going to be part of this week as well. So as I alluded to on the last slide, this week's going to be an informational interview assignment. So this does involve some steps and some planning and foresight. So for this week, you're going to think about a professional in your field of study that you might be able to conduct an informational interview with. You see there in the circle, I have listed several sources or resources rather that you can use to try to find an individual to conduct an informational interview. Now I'll, I'll speak up front about this. I know you all are very busy with your family obligations, your work obligations, and such. So this is just adding more to that and, and so forth. But do your best and use your family and friends network. That's probably where I would start if I was you to try to identify a professional that is in the IT field, someone in the IT field and maybe in your, maybe in your specific specialization of IT that you're thinking about to set up a informational interview. So how are you going to go about setting this up? We have some information in this week's module that talks a little bit about that. There's an email template for you about sending an email to someone to request an informational interview. 
again, I realize this takes time both on your part and it's going to take time on the interviewee's part. They have to be available as well. So again, I'm asking you to do your best and really work to identify a professional that you can just do a quick in informational interview. Now, how do you do an informational interview? What is an informational interview? So there is a video in this week's module that kind of guides you through what an informational interview is and how to conduct it. But I think I would just stick to kind of what they have in that video. We're kind of asking that it be about 20 to 30 minutes in length. I, I You don't want to have it really be any longer than that. I would actually try to keep it to 20 if you can, because you're, again, the, the professional is volunteering their time to participate in this. It is kind of short notice and such, so we don't want to take up too much of their time. Although, on the flip side, we do want to make sure that we are, in fact, doing an informational interview. So that what that means is you're, you're acquiring information, you're acquiring knowledge about that particular individual's career path and such. And then there is an assignment template under this week's course module that I uh, you need to use, actually. I don't just encourage you to use, you should be using for this assignment. So we also have a discussion for this week, and the discussion for this week is going to be focusing on networking. I apologize for not having that word up there, but professional networking. How, what steps would you take to build your professional network? And what I mean, when you look at this image, you see all the connections, right? All the connections being made with uh, the lines and the circles and such. That's what a professional network basically is, making connections, establishing connections with professionals in your perspective or current field. And then you're going to look at some goals. What are your short-term and long-term goals for building a professional network? Is it to learn about opportunities? Is it to have, to maybe have that mentor, develop that mentoring uh, relationship with a professional, I should say mentee mentor relationship. And then the benefits, so uh, kind of exploring the benefits of the, the networking relationship. So this goes into greater detail in the, and again, under this week's course module. Ah, there it is. Exploring ways to build your professional network. Aha. Uh -huh. All righty, so as always, I hope you realize this from me. I, I welcome questions, so if you have questions that come up, let me know. Again, do your best to get this set up as soon as possible. I know we've given you like a limited window of time here and so forth, but do your best to use some of the resources that I mentioned earlier. So not just friends and family, friends and family members, but there's LinkedIn. If you've heard of LinkedIn, that's a really uh, great tool to network with other individuals, other professionals. There's also, I believe it's called Community Connect. That is under this week's module that you can also use to try to identify a potential a potential professional to to do for to interview I should say to conduct the informational interview but I would definitely start with your already existing network of family and friends so again please let me know if you have any questions you see my email address there and thank you for listening have a great night